Sonny Donnelly, IFL TV in association with MGM Marbella. I'm here at O2 today for the final press conference of Joshua versus Cornish. On the undercard of that fight is Mr. John Wayne Hibbert. Your third fight, is it, against Dave Ryan? Yeah, he's 2 new him. <laughs> hat tricks, they're not, they're rare. So maybe you could get one this time. Uh, listen, um, you know, last time, last, obviously take nothing away from Dave Ryan. He's a good champion. Well, he was a good champion. He done ever so well in the last fight, but I was boxing at 70%, you know, take, like I say, take nothing away from him. But, um, it's going to be a different John Wayne but they've, they've asked for 100% John Wayne but and that's what they're going to get. You know, I had him in all sorts of trouble um, last fight out uh, at 70%. So, so last time I'd say that fight was fight of the night, easy, and now you're possibly fight of the year. It looks like you've been you could be getting. What, yes. What went what went wrong towards the end of that sort of fight? You know, like I say, um, I had a few not not problems, but a few things went wrong in the camp. Um, you know and. I just I just blew out of steam in the um, in the in the dying, in the last rounds like not round nine and uh, Dave Ryan capitalised on it which he done very well and uh, it was a good win for him. So what are you doing different this time coming round? Well, you know we've, we've, we've been training. We've had some superb sparring with the likes of Bradley Skeet and Johnny Garton. You know um, two big worldweight boys. Um, I don't think. I could possibly have got better sparring. Um, Bradley Skeet's got, you know, arguably one of the best jabs in the business, you know, and um, so that was that was one of the things we changed, the sparring, which is brilliant. Um, my nutrition, my diet, I had to, I had to do a slight change to that. And um, and I'm 110% now, man, I'm firing all cylinders. There was a few belts flying about of the last fight. I got a bit confused about what everyone was fighting for, but this time around, is it? Will you get a WBC ranking if you win this fight? Um, do you know what? I'll, it's definitely for the Commonwealth. Um, I'm not sure. I, I, I should imagine that the WBC in national on the line, but um, like I say, I'm, I'm not 100 percent certain. Um, so, if you win this fight, where's next for you? You know, I'm just solely looking ahead at this fight. Um, I'm 100% focused on this fight, whatever comes afterwards, um, you know, after I win, will be all well and good, you know, British title, whatever, I'm, 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 I'm looking for bigger and better things now, so don't beat that line in there. Obviously you was in the ring with him not so long ago, so what did you do in training to sort of, like, learn more about him? Obviously, I'm not going to go into tactics and all that, you know, it's only a couple of days away from the fight. But, um, you know, we've just been in the gym, we've been working on, on different things. And, uh, and like I said, the training, training's gone absolutely superb. Um, and, and I'm ready ready to rock and roll. Right then, mate. Well, I'm sure I'll catch up with you at the weigh-in tomorrow. I'll go on. a big thank you to um, my uncle, my uncle Phil at TNP Led Roofing uh, and Capwell. Capwell Design Limited and um, JVH Building Services um, for sponsoring me throughout the training camp. Didn't you nearly have another sponsor? Sorry? Didn't you nearly have another sponsor? Who's that? Mr. Danny Chamberlain. You. <laughs> 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 listen, he, uh, I'll see what he had, no, pants right <laughs> he did. well and truly on that, but listen, I'm t uh, if it was a pattern note mate, you know what I mean, and he, he, was, I couldn't he got you good, you know what, even my pal Lee Eaton was involved in that, so um, you know, I've got to get him back somewhere along the line, but um, fair, fair play to him, you got me there Dan, you give me that one mate. <laughs> Alright, it, speaking of man, Lee Eaton, yeah. loved it, promoter. Man on Hello. mission. He's my main man. There's everything. What about after you, your long career in boxing, joining up with him, doing the EBA? You know what, once I've finished in boxing, I'm finished. <laughs> no, um, you know, I'm going into hopefully training people and, and, and doing a few bits like that. So, I, you know, I'm going to get this fight out of the way and I'm sort of going into doing one-to-one -one training, training some of these um, white-collar boys and that and, yeah. That's alright then, as long as teaching everyone your we've got, we've got wisdom. I'm going to keep him his payroll, on the payroll. <laughs> He's going to keep him on the payroll. Basically. He's going to use you like his little bitch. Yeah, you know. <laughs> alright then, mate. Well, stay focused. Two days out to the fight. Best of luck on Saturday, and I'll, I'll see you at the weigh-in. Cheers, mate.